Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fashion Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith, and this is Marcy Carmack. This is our end of summer blowout closeout special. And uh, since we're not going to be actually hosting Coffee Hour on, on Monday because it's Labor Day, we wanted to share just some final thoughts about summer and summer reading. Uh, I've been I've been enjoying actually this this Vanity Fair issue, Marcy. I haven't had time to really read um, really anything, a book. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen a book all summer, but this uh, Vanity Fair issue came my way, and I I have to glance through it, and I haven't had a chance to read a lot of the articles. But you know, Marcy, of course, at Fashion Coffee Hour, we love you know all the ads for Prada and for you know, our friend Gucci and Chanel. All the things that we're interested in, but more important, this uh, I was really struck by this new editor, this uh, Radhika Jones, who really put together this amazing issue. And I was so intrigued with her as an editor. Uh, Vanity Fair, of course, has the storied history, famous <laughs> editors. I, I read actually, I think they only had five or six editors, the entire history of this publication since the 1920s. And most notably to me, in, in the context of fashion, is uh, the editor Claire Booth Luce, who was um, in the context of fashion? Yes, because I think of Claire Booth Luce as a literary fashion icon of the 20th century. And, um, she and Condé Nast actually uh, attended a couple of conventions right next door at the Auditorium Theater uh, in the 30s. And uh, they're also the editor, uh, publisher, uh, uh, Henry Luce of the, your favorite magazine, Vogue, Marcy. Do you have your, <laughs> do you have your current Vogue with you? To, I have uh, your current book. To read by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> See, Marcy's got her summer reading. And Marcy, what was your other? You had, a, you had a book you were reading this summer, right? Yes. I'm very excited about it. It's sort of old news to most people. It was on the bestseller list for years, I think. I'll have to check. But um, Women Who Run With the Wolves. And um, okay. I had a couple of people... <laughs> I had a couple of people recommend it. And finally, I was like, I have to read this. And it's, it's really well, amazing. So are you reading it or are you going to read it? I'm reading it. That's going to be your Labor Day special? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stick with my Vanity Fair. because It's going to bring me up to date and everything I need to know about. Uh, they have a new advertisement for a new FX special, special about Monica Lewinsky and the Bill Clinton affair. That sounds interesting. I didn't know that was still a story. They have a special, uh, this whole issue is centered around trends of the 20th century, end of the turn of the century, and all the things that drove culture in our time, including the World Trade Center anniversary, which of course we're coming up on, and all the, uh, I never saw the film The Matrix, but I guess this blue pill, red pill refers to the film The Matrix, which people have told me I should see because I'm living that life. And they also have an article about uh, Roger Stone, which I thought was quite, I don't really know what they have to say about Roger Stone. And they also have an article about all the Trumpster phenomenon in Florida. Don't you love the way <laughs> he has his <laughs> sticky notes on the magazine? Ann Coulter. I didn't even know Ann Coulter was even on the planet. I thought I haven't heard of Ann Coulter for quite some time. But, I, you know, I, she's looking, <laughs> she's still pretty vital. And they have some more articles about the Trumpets. I've never heard of the Trumpets, but I want to catch up on that. And lastly, they have an article about Rudy Giuliani, which does not look, doesn't look all that flattering, but I'm going to catch up on all these important trends and um, societal trends, societal tr trends and cultural trends. And, you know, back to my friend Claire Booth Luce, that was her comment uh, when asked by a reporter, you know, what makes a good editor? And uh, Miss Luce, she said, you know, a good editor follows the trends, has an eye for the trends, and then finds people who can write about the trends, about that topic. And she said it was very important to find good writers who, instead of asking them to write what they want to write about, asking them to write about things you want them to write about. And I thought that was a very interesting insight that sometimes we have skills and aptitudes which might be better directed in, in another direction. We might not have might not occurred to us. So instead of doing what we we particularly are interested in, sometimes we are better at looking at something that's unusual or foreign to us. So if you're looking for some, some trends from a perspective that is might be different um, or unusual, you might consider it a vanity fair. And Marcy, you're recommending Running with the Wolves. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's 
Oh, many women have read it, but uh, pick it up again. Terrific. Well, wherever you are this Labor Day and whatever you're reading, I hope it's good reading and happy trails wherever this holiday weekend takes you. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you uh, next Monday at Fashion Coffee Hour. Take care. Bye.